everyone, I am Nidhi from Edureka and I welcome you back to Edureka's YouTube channel. In today's exciting session, we will talk about Vibe Coding. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content from Edureka. Now before we get started, if you are looking to advance your career in artificial intelligence and machine learning, consider Edureka's post-graduation in Generative AI and ML. Offered in collaboration with Illinois Institute of Technology, this comprehensive six-month online program includes live instructor-led classes providing with over 400 hours of immersive learning. You will engage in more than nine projects, 15 practical use cases, and over 100 hands-on lab. Gaining expertise in machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, prompt engineering, and the latest advancement in AI technologies. Upon completion, you will receive a globally recognized certification from Illinois Tech. For more details, visit the link in the description box below. Now let's outline what we will cover in this video. First, we will start with what Vibe Coding is and why it is gaining the attention in coding world. Next, we will dive into how it works exploring the tech behind this immersive coding experience. Then, we will discuss the benefits like enhanced focus, creativity and productivity. After that, we will look at some challenges and considerations to keep in mind. And finally, I will show you the live demo of Vibe Coding in action. So yeah, now let's get started with the introduction of Vibe Coding. So software is changing fast. Just a few years ago, building an app meant writing every single line of code by yourself. But today, we don't even need to look at the code to create an app. So this is what we call Vibe Coding. The term Vibe Coding was introduced by Andreas Karpathy, a co-founder of OpenAI in 2025. According to what he said, it lets anyone not just developers, build software, speed up the whole process, and makes iterating on ideas easier than ever. But this wipe coding is the future or just another passing trend? Comment your thoughts in the comment box below. So now that we have introduced the concept of wipe coding, let's dive into how this innovative approach actually works. So yeah, wipe coding transforms the traditional programming process by leveraging artificial intelligence to generate code based on the natural language description. Here's the breakdown of the workflow. So the first step is conceptualization. Begin by clearly defining the functionality or the application you want to create. This involves articulating your ideas in natural language, detailing the desired features and behaviors. So the next step is AI interpretation and code generation. So input your description into the AI-powered coding tool. The AI processes your input and generates the corresponding code effectively translating your natural language instructions into the functional program. So last step after AI interpretation is review and refinement. So this step basically includes examining the AI generated code to ensure it aligns with your expectations. So you may need to provide additional instructions or adjustments to refine the code. This iterative process continues until the final product meets the requirement. So yeah, Vibe Coding enables the individual, even without extensive programming experience, to develop a software by focusing on high-level concepts, while AI handles the detailed coding. However, it's crucial to review and understand the AI-generated code to ensure the accuracy and the functionality. So yeah, now that we have explored how Vibe Coding operates, let's examine some of the leading tools that facilitates this. So several AI-powered tools have emerged to support Vibe Coding, enabling the developers to translate the natural language prompts into functional code. So here are some notable examples. The first one that we have is GitHub Copilot. So GitHub Copilot was developed by GitHub in collaboration with OpenAI. Copilot integrates with the popular code editors to provide the real-time code suggestion based on the natural language description. And the second one that we have is Replit an online coding platform that offers AI-assisted development features allowing the users to build and deploy the application directly in their browsers. The next tool that we have is Cursor, a code editor designed for AI-assisted development featuring the real-time code suggestions and natural language processing capabilities. So yeah, these tools simplify the potential of Vibe Coding to make software development more accessible and efficient by allowing the developers to focus on high-level concepts while the AI handles the detailed coding. So now that we have explored the tools facilitating Vibe Coding, let's dive into the key benefits this AI-assisted programming approach offers. So the first benefit that it offers is accelerated development cycle, which means it automates the repetitive task, enabling the faster prototyping and deployment. 
The next benefit is enhanced coding consistency and quality. That means AI tools enforce coding standards resulting in more reliable code bases. The next benefit that we have is lower barrier to entry, which means it allows the individuals without extensive programming experience to create application using natural language prompt. And the next benefit is increased productivity. It basically frees the developers from mundane tasks, allowing to focus on innovation and strategic aspects. And the last benefit that we have is it facilitates the rapid prototyping, which means it enables the quick experimentation and iteration, frosting the innovation and agility in the development. So yeah, now that we have explored the benefits of wipe coding, it's also important to consider the challenges and the considerations associated with it. So yeah, now let's have a look at the challenge. So the first challenge that we might face is conceptual understanding. AI tools may generate code that functions correctly, but it lacks a deep understanding of specific project requirements, potentially leading to the misaligned outcomes. The next challenge that we might face is security vulnerabilities. AI generated code can introduce the security flaws if not thoroughly reviewed, as these tools might adhere to the best security practices. The next challenge we might face is over-reliance on automation. So dependence on AI for coding tasks might dismiss the developer's critical thinking and problem-solving skills, leading to the decline in code quality and innovation. So the next challenge that we might face is ethical and legal concerns. The use of AI in code generation raises issues related to the intellectual property rights and potential biasness embedded in the trading data. So yeah, the next challenge that we might face is quality assurance. AI tools might produce the code that appears correct but doesn't effectively achieve the intended goals, underscoring the need of regress testing and validation. So yeah, addressing these challenges requires a balanced approach combining AI capabilities with the human oversight to ensure the code quality, security, and alignment with the project objectives. So now that we have discussed the challenges and considerations of wipe coding, let's move on to the practical demonstration. So to effectively showcase wipe coding within the Visual Studio code, we will integrate AI-powered extension that assists the code generation and completion. So yeah, we are going to integrate GitHub Copilot in our VS Code and then we will generate a small code using GitHub Copilot. Now let's have a look at the demonstration of wipe coding. So we are going to use GitHub Copilot as AI-assisted tool here. So to integrate GitHub Copilot into your VS Code, what you need to do is you need to visit this extensions here. After that, type GitHub Copilot and here comes the extension. You will just click on the install button here. I have already installed GitHub Copilot into my VS Code. So I am not getting the option to install. So here you will get the button to install. So after clicking on the install button, so you will have to connect your GitHub Copilot with your GitHub account. So it will redirect you to your GitHub account and there you just need to authorize it. And after that, you will be able to use GitHub Copilot into your VS Code. So after authorizing your GitHub Copilot with your VS Code, you will get this option here, which is of GitHub Copilot. You'll just click here and you will get this interface. So here you can ask Copilot anything. You can ask to generate a code for anything here and it will generate your code. So let us see an example. So I'll just give a prompt here. Generate a code for factorial in Python. I'll just click here and it will start generating the code. Here I can see the code. So this is my code. Now let me ask one more thing. I have written give me code for form using HTML and inline CSS. So I'll just click and it will start generating the code for form. What we'll do is we'll copy this code and we'll try to run in our VS code. So here we can see this is the code. It has created the form along with the styling. So what we are going to do is we are going to open a folder here. We'll just create one new folder. Let's name it as demo and select folder. I'll click here to see my code. So I've opened my folder and the code is gone. So I'll again ask the copilot to generate the code. So I've again asked the copilot to generate the code and let's see. So yeah, it has generated the code. I have created one folder here and I will just make a file here that is demo.html. 
So what we will do is we will copy this code from here. We have copied it. We will just paste this code and save this code. After saving this code, we will just click on go live. And you can see it has generated the form using HTML and CSS. We know that it has used CSS because we can see the perfect box styling, the color of the submit button and everything. So yeah, this is an example of vibe coding. We just gave the prompt to GitHub Copilot in the natural language and then Copilot generated the code according to our natural language prompt. So yeah, this is what we call vibe coding and that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment down any of your doubts and queries. We will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka's channel to learn more. Happy learning!